white, but they're not all over. If you want to find a giant panda in the wild, you'll have to go deep into the wilderness of China. A new documentary helps illuminate the secret lives of this still threatened species. Tonight, ABC's David Wright takes us up close into the unseen world of exotic animals. Born in China, exotic, industrious, at a time shrouded in mystery. Disney Nature's new movie from ABC's parent company, Disney, reveals a side of China we rarely get to see. An intimate look at some of the most incredible creatures on Earth. You chose three different animals, the panda, yeah. the golden monkey, yeah. and the snow leopard. Yeah. Director Lu Chuan says when he decided to make the movie, the giant panda wasn't even on his list. We get used to panda, you know. Well, Everybody's sure. tired of the panda. The panda gets too much airtime. <laughs> <laughs> Lou is one of China's most celebrated filmmakers, but he's not known for nature movies. He wrote and directed the award-winning Chinese historical drama City of Life and Death about the rape of Nanking. This film's a bit of a departure for you. You're not known as a nature filmmaker. Why did you want to make it? I always love wild animals, but but to make this movie for me is a kind of, uh, you know, a little, a little, a little bit like a surprise. Making Born in China would require a three year time commitment. It took three months just to get the first shots of the elusive snow leopard. We stayed there for 90 days, but got no single shot of snow leopard. So we almost decided to, to withdraw from the area. But on the 91st day, we got a, that shot. That shot is amazing. The results are breathtaking. I think some of the footage of the snow leopard, one that's never been filmed before like that, it's the most incredible footage of wildlife. It's amazing. Dr. Jane Goodall, who spent decades living alongside chimpanzees in Tanzania, and transformed our understanding of humankind's closest cousins in the animal kingdom is now a Disney nature ambassador. Talk to me about the importance of patience when it comes to observing it's these the, animals. the most important thing in nature. If I hadn't been patient, I wouldn't have discovered anything. Lu Chuan brings the same patience to his work and a human touch. These aren't just animal stories, they're family stories. The giant panda story focuses on a mother raising her cub. We need a story line to put everything together. The relationship between mother and the kid are the central plot of this movie. I've been to Sichuan to see the pandas. Yeah. And uh, we went with a group of researchers who dress up in panda suits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I told Lu Chuan about an adventure we took for Nightline, traveling to remote Sichuan province to the Wulong Panda Research Center. The scientists there have come up with an unusual way of studying pandas up close. It's sort of like a giant Halloween costume, huh? Worried their monthly medical checkups might spook the pandas. And now to complete the effect. They try and make themselves more friendly and familiar by actually dressing up in the panda suits. It's very difficult to see outside these panda suits. So it must make the scientists work a lot more difficult. Oddly enough, Lu Chuan knew exactly what I was talking about. First, we don't want to you know, annoy or disturb the panda mother. Mother pandas, they're, they're really protective. You dressed up in these panda suits? Not me, my DP. Your director I, of photography? Yes. Pandas are now off the endangered species list, but they're still threatened. At Zoo Atlanta, real life is imitating the Born in China narrative. A panda mom worried about her twin cubs. Having cubs is a really intense journey for a mom. And having twins really, you know, obviously doubles that. Zoo Atlanta is one of four zoos in the U.S. where giant pandas live. And fans here have been able to see their share of panda cubs. But it's only a temporary home when they grow up. All of the cubs born here at Zoo Atlanta will return to Chengdu Research Base for giant panda breeding. And it's really exciting to think about the fact that someday they may produce offspring that are reintroduced to the wild or contributing to that wild population and contributing to the giant panda conservation message as a whole. Lou hopes his movie will also help to contribute to conservation efforts. For me, a panda is kind of a, you know, uh, a symbol of China. We want to share 
panda's lifestyle with the the, the people outside of China because panda is living a peaceful life, you know, never never a, attack other other animals and only eat bamboo. As a filmmaker, do you prefer to work now with animals or humans? <laughs> Working with uh, the wild animals is easier for me, you know. How so? <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't know if I should answer your question or not, because I, I will return to that in, the, in, the, in that feature film circle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This touched your spirit in a way that touched the feature films don't. Touched my heart. China's prosperity, he says, is now leading to a greater recognition that the natural world is not just a resource to be used, but a treasure to be protected. I'm David Wright for Nightline in New York. Born in China premieres in theaters April 21st.